And welcome back to The Daily Wrap. I'm Carl Higby, filling in for Joe Concha. Donald Trump continues to rule the polls, even following the debate in which many people feel Megyn Kelly treated Trump unfairly. According to a poll of over 2,000 registered voters conducted uh, by the following poll, Fox Debate said, Trump leads his nearest rival by nearly three to one margin. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush is in the number two spot. Ben Carson made a huge jump and a good showing, ending up in the third spot with 9% of the vote. Rick? Seems the controversy with Megyn Kelly is helping him in the polls, probably against what you want. <laughs> it's well, it's just it's just fascinating. I mean, he is Teflon. It seems yeah. no matter what he does, no matter how rude I might find it, there are a lot of people out there who think that this is a very good thing. That he's somebody who says what he believes and speaks his mind, and they're into it. It's pop culture. I mean, Heather, this is this is gaining steam. Well, I think he's challenging the establishment and he, like as, as Rick said, he's willing to speak his mind and I think a lot of people like that. I think a lot of people also just want to continue to see him in the race. I think that he shakes things up. He makes things interesting. I mean, the ratings that this debate got would, and Trump is happy to say so, would never have been had without him. And I think a lot of right. people want to continue to want to watch, which again, may not be a bad thing. Yeah, Tom, is this, uh, is this deliberate help by Megyn Kelly or what? Well, I, I got to tell you that uh, a lot of Trump's popularity really becomes because of the anti-establishment feeling from the Republican base. And you have to think of the Tea Party people and the, the grassroots activists. First, mm -hmm. we elected the House of Representatives and promised right. that they would stop Obama. Then you got the Senate, and Mitch McConnell said, just give us the Senate and we'll stop Obama. They got both. Republican geo Congress is doing absolutely nothing. So Trump we, is the disruptor, and it's more of an anti-establishment vote than it really is a real strong I, I pro. Think that's pro. Don't underestimate true. the yeah. anger no, that's that, right. that you're yeah. seeing it's, from it's the base. It's absolutely that's true, and I think there are two things to say. And it's legitimate. I mean, well, it you know, is. I mean, yeah, it is. How many times did they promise to stop Obamacare? Well, yeah. Thank goodness they we, have not. You got to wonder too that if if Jeb Bush or someone else takes a nomination, are they going to in fact uh, people going to stay home? Well. First of all, let's, let's identify what's happening. We're seeing something that I think is brand new in American politics. Pop and, culture. And, and I'm, well, it is pop culture. I would call it the uh, reality show right. uh, portion Kardashian of, of the primaries. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you know what? It's, it's new. I'm sure I'm not the first to have noted it, uh, but it's real. Now, the question becomes, how long does it last? And we don't know the answer to that. If it lasts all the way through, Donald Trump could be president. I tend to believe that it won't last the whole duration. I think that we will get over the reality show portion. You're right, it's all about the anger and the disenchantment, but at some point, you gotta believe the American public wakes up and says, all right, we, yeah, we're ticked off, but we need right. somebody who actually has some ideas. Yeah. Right. Here's another interesting stat. Republican voters who view Trump favorably increased from 57 to 62 percent. Although he still has 52 percent unfavorable rating. <laughs> Tom, is this is this resonating with primary voters or is well, it? Well, again, with the Republican base, yeah. it, it really is. I mean, these people, you know, and I'm part of it, really just fed up with, with the whole GOP establishment that has done absolutely nothing. How, so how can he have a 62 percent favorable and a 52 percent unfavorable? It must be common core math. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that, part of it. that doesn't that exactly add up to 100%, does <laughs> it? <laughs> Heather, is this a push for Donald Trump, or is this America's pushback against the GOP? Well, I, I, I don't know if it's America. It's, it's certain people's pushback against yeah. the GOP. And that's one of the things that bothers me so much. He doesn't talk about Hillary Clinton. He's pushing at the other candidates. Right. And that's only hurting the Republican Party. And maybe he just doesn't care. I mean, clearly he said he'd run, he'll run as a third party candidate if he has to. Yeah. But the idea, you know, there is a conspiracy theory out there that Clinton talked him into running and that this is all in, uh, in a hope to help Hillary Clinton. Anybody believe it? Now, now we have a mystery novel I, in addition I, to a I campaign. Don't I don't believe that. in conspiracy theories, but I don't believe it. it look, right now, he's taking 20, in a recent poll, he's taking 20% of likely Democrat voters. If he has 32 percent of Republican, 20 percent of Democrats, he wins in a three-party race. Well, that's true. Yeah. But, but then again, long, according to the math we yeah. just saw, I'm not so sure. Yeah, you might need to have 110 percent. No, I, yeah, I suppose you could say that. I don't think he ends up with those numbers in either. Yeah. But. Well, Bill Mayer on a Friday night had a pretty good observation regarding Trump, comparing him to Ronald Reagan. I, I hear a lot of people say, you know, it's just a bubble. You know, it's going to go away just the way Herman Cain and Michelle Bachman and all these people did. But, you know, you kids are a little young to remember. But that's what they said about Ronald Reagan. I remember when he, I was 12 years old in 1968 when he first floated the bubble of running. And it was a joke. Oh, come on. He had a stupid television show. He's divorced. 
He avoided combat. He's got weird hair and crazy face paint. This guy will never. So for all those people who say Donald Trump could not go all the way, I don't think they're right. They didn't say he would get this far. And obviously, I don't know what the results are from last night, but Fox tried to put a stake in him, and I don't think they did. Is Trump a Herman Cain, or is he uh, Ronald Reagan like Rick? I think he's the child of Herman Cain and Michelle Bachman. I don't One know. of the illegitimate no, ones. I, listen, <laughs> I, I totally take Bill Maher's point. I mean, he, he draws a very fair comparison between what they said about Ronald Reagan. And for that matter, Barack Obama. And for that matter, on and on and on. P, uh, Jimmy Carter, you know, at this yeah. point in the race, Mitt Romney was, could was never become president. Yeah, I well, mean, well, the similarity is back, you know, Carter was extremely unpopular, and yeah. the country was really frustrated, so they're ready to go to the other could way. Could have the same but thing. Could have the same thing, but Trump has to come up with some policy yeah. ideas. That'd be nice. Very concerning nice. from a grassroots nice. conservative base position on health care. Well, Universal works in Canada. That's troubling. These will these issues will carry out over the time. Yeah. Heather? Yeah, I mean, he's got to come up with policies. Tom is 100% correct. And he's avoided them thus far and keeps talking about blood instead. And let's, and let's face it, we're going to see if he should get that far. We're going to see, see the, the commercials yep. of his past political Ab position. We will see. The cap that Donald, has Trump, Donald Trump has been wearing at the campaign stops with his Make America Great Again slogan has become a sensation. In fact, sales of the Trump cap are off the charts. Now you can get your very own Make America Great Again cap, a $25 value free with a special offer. Just pay shipping and handling. Just go to Newsmax, Newsmax.com slash Trump cap or call 1-800-485-4350. Coming up, more on the Iran deal controversy and who's now for it and who's against it. Stay tuned right here on The Daily Wrap.